Bob Kale's Fontaine Guest Farm is a working farm of more than 7,000 hectare with a serious focus on tourism. It's located in the prime area of the Namaqualand flower region and offers visitors a spectacular experience, especially during the flower season in August, September. With magnificent accommodation options, numerous activities, panoramic natural beauty, mouth-watering meals from the restaurant, this is one of the best in the bulb capital of the world. The closest town is Nivertville, about 400 kilometers north of Cape Town along the west coast of South Africa. Bubkale's Fontaine consists of several venues stretching from 15 kilometers south of Nivertville. We start at Mikey's Fontaine, the residence of Willem and Mariette van Weyck, the original founders of the guest farm back in 1986. This house dates back to the 1700s. In high season, a suite in this house is also available for guests. On the same farm as the Van Weyck's residence is Willem Stradum House, the latest house being added to the accommodation portfolio. Papkeel's Fontaine falls in the winter rainfall season. It's on the border of Cape Feinbos and the Shrub Karoo. Has a bit of both with Renosterfeld and Dollarite Sill in between. These visuals were filmed just before the flower season. During August and September of most years, this area will be covered with the most beautiful and diverse flowers. Across the road from Mikey's Fontaine is Delanda, the biggest house offering accommodation for groups of up to eight people. Although Delanda is 9 kilometers away from Pupkale's Fontaine's main farm, optional meals can be ordered from the restaurant for delivery right here. During the flower season, Delanda has its own chef. The smaller house next door is ideal for two couples or an extension of the group at Delanda. The main farm is about 9 kilometers from Delanda and Mikey's Fontaine. This family residence is now occupied by Jaco and Ulri van Weyck with their three children. Guests, especially children, are encouraged to assist with feeding the lambs. Next to the house is Divan House, which hosts the reception, farm shop and restaurant. Dinner meals can be booked for delivery and healthy farm breakfasts are available. The farm shop in Divan House boasts a number of typical farm products. These olives are produced from the orchards on Pupkale's Fontaine. A short drive from the farmyard are three accommodation cottages, each with its own unique charm, capacity and level of privacy. Built and restored to maintain their historic charm, these are comfortable luxury cottages that are well furnished. The wide open spaces surrounding the cottages makes it ideal for couples, families or small groups.
Although the cottages are equipped for self-catering, meals can be ordered from the restaurant and delivered here. A basic campsite offering remoteness and privacy is available two kilometers away from the main farmyard. Pupkales Fontaine is mainly a merino sheep farm. During the dry seasons, supplementary fodder needs to be provided on a daily basis. Solar and wind energy are used for the farm's operations. A borehole is pumped with solar energy into this dam from where the water is released. The Lucerne under flood irrigation also provides food for the sheep during the dry months. Visitors enjoy watching the sheep being shepherded into the kraal with the help of the intelligent sheepdogs. The area close to Clan William and Nivertville is the prime region for rooibos tea in South Africa. Pupkales Fontaine is no exception. Land is being cultivated for new plantations. One of the best activities at Pupkales Fontaine is the guided tour by Willem van Weyck. He was the fifth generation farmer here before handing it over to his son Jakub. Willem uses all his knowledge and experience to show visitors the geology, fauna and flora of the area. The river running into the canyon was dry during filming, but after rains it creates a beautiful waterfall. With 145 bird species recorded in the area, Guests may just experience some rare sightings here. During the flower season, there are two self-drive or hiking flower routes for guests and day visitors. Parts of Pupkales Fontaine has been managed as flower reserves for many years and is renowned for many of the endemic and red data flower species of the Nibotville area. Willem showed us the precious rock art where Pupkales Fontaine's logo originated from. During the flower season, the Weinhaus restaurant is also open for day visitors. Goedenavond allemaal, baie welkom hier bij aan, aan ons tafel op Papkeels Fontein. Het is heerlijk om jullie als keiergasten bij ons te hee. Vanavond gaan jullie uh, eten nuttig van lamf, lamskinkels en rooiwijnsaus op roemerige kapok artepels, jening wortels en groenboene met olijfolie en sesame saad. Jullie slaakje is komkommer en yoghurt, wat heerlijk gaan samen met die lamsvlees. Ik hoop jullie genieten jullie eten. We end our visit with a special dinner at the restaurant. <laughs> 